Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm going to talk about Microsoft Teams and especially about a couple of new features. I'm recording this video on April the 21st of 2020. Uh, we are all uh, we're all working from home. Uh, many of us are working from home, and we have to use Microsoft Teams quite a bit for business purpose. So I'm going to try to address uh, two uh, um, two issues with Microsoft uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, in the latest uh, updates, now we can uh, not only blur the background or, on our video, but we can also change the, the background to images that are preset by Microsoft uh, in, in the Teams program. Uh, some, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you as well how to put your own custom images in there. It is not native to the, to the program, but it's fairly easy to do that. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Uh, the next item and I'm, which I'm going to start with is also the fact that with the background blur and the uh, um, to change the background image, uh, a lot of uh, the users have the uh, the software, but they cannot change uh, the image. You don't see that in their menu. So I'm going to start with addressing that and I'm going to go straight to my desktop. I'm going to show my desktop and we're going to go through that. All right. So I am right now in a call in. Um, in Teams, and uh, if in order to be able, and I've got my camera right here, uh, in order to be able to uh, change uh, the background, you need to go into during the call. You show obviously you're going to click on uh, turn the camera on, uh, and you're going to go here in more actions, and then you're going to go and show background effects. So this is new. It um, it's been uh, in Microsoft Teams. They've added that feature about a week or two ago. Uh, not everybody's got that. So if you don't have this show background effect, the first thing you're going to do, uh, you're going to try to force a, an update on your uh, machine there. Uh, so what you're going to do is that you're going to go into your user and then you're going to go and check for updates and then click on this and it's going to tell you above. Uh, it will check for the updates while you're, in, uh, while you're working in the background. Uh, I've done that uh, last week and it forced the, the menu. It wasn't there. So uh, it, once this is done, you should be able to see the show background effect, all right? If you don't have that, this is going to be a problem. If you have an older computer, uh, even if you try to force that, it, if, you, if your chip is not able uh, to uh, change the background, if it doesn't have, you need to have the uh, instruction sets called AVX2, and I'm going to show you how to find that. But if you don't have the instruction set, it is not gonna, it's, it's not going to be there. All right, so you will not see that show background effect uh, item in your menu, all right? So I'm going to go to um, uh, Microsoft. All right, so I'm going to show you. Uh, this is Intel Arc website, all right? So you can just go there, and I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, you're going to find the chip you got in your machine. If you go into the systems, uh, into the system, there we go. I'm going to go there. Uh, if you go into the system right there, it should tell you the chip that you have, and I've got an i5-6600K. Uh, so let's go look at that and you're going to go do Intel Arc i5 6600K, all right? Click on that and it's going to take you to the, uh, here right here, Arc Intel. That's what you're looking for, Arc, which is the database of all the chips and then the, the uh, products of Intel. So it's going to take you straight there and if you scroll down until you go into the um, advanced technologies, here you're going to see instruction sets extension. If you don't have AVX2, it is not going to work. All right. And I'm going to give you, so here it shows I have AVX2 on my chip. It should work and it does work. All right. I'm going to show you another, I've got the no computer here at home. I've got an i5-2500. Oh, machine still working. All right. So I'm going to go here, i5-2500. And on this machine, and I'm going to show it uh, on another screenshot, uh, I do not have the ability, and I do not see the menu, even though I force the uh, the software. You see, I got Intel AVX. I don't have AVX2. So on my other machine, it doesn't work. And I'm going to show you uh, the screen of this machine so you can uh, see what I'm talking about and where it doesn't show you in the menu, all right? So getting back to the... Uh, to Microsoft Teams, so yeah, that's what happens. If you don't have AVX2, it is not going to show this uh, item in the menu to show the background effect. All right, now I'm in the machine. I have this menu. How do I blur my background? Because you know you got the brooms and stuff, and the room is all messy in the back. You want to blur that out? I got like, my my son's 
a college fish and my daughter's college fish, one on top of each other. They're both home. So that's that's not a pretty sight, right? So you want to blur that. So you go into this, like I said, more action. I'm going to hide that, but more action, show background effects. And I'm going to go here to blur. You always have to apply. Once you apply, then it would blur it out, all right? And that's all right. It does the job. Uh, once the uh, what you need to know is that if you move around a lot, you know it, it's it's going to have a hard time. You know, folks. Sometimes you can have like weird effects and and blurriness or, or kind of weird uh, faded lines next to you, all right? So that's the blur. And then these are the new images that Microsoft uh, added uh, last week, uh, second week of uh, of April 2020. So here you can do that. Choose the background that you want. Apply and do that. You will see here in this image. If I move, you can see, uh, you know, the uh, the ghosting or whatever elements that you see, like the uh, the distortion, the image distortion, right? When you move, right? So it has a hard time doing that. So that is a how to apply the backgrounds, right? So th that's what it is. Of of course, you're in a, if you're in a business environment, don't put the balloons. Don't put anything that's going to be distracting uh, to the presenter. I'll uh, put something that is more, uh, you know, less distracting like this is perfect. All right. Um, so, yeah. So if you want to put now, let's go to the next topic and the last topic. If you want to go put some images that are custom images, how do you do that? It is not built in. You don't have an option here to go put your images. I want to show you how to do that. Uh, so we're going to first get out of this. I'm not going to close the call, so I'm going to be able to get back and show you. So uh, you're going to go into, uh, so you're going to whatever you know, image you want to go, Chrome, Microsoft, uh, Internet Explorer, whatever you use, the, the, the browser you use, get a nice nine, uh, 1920 by 1080p or whatever is your screen size. Look for an image for that size. And me, I've got uh, one image already. So I'm going to put that right here. So I'm got, I've got a nice park with autumn leaves and all that good stuff. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to show you what to do to be able to put that in Microsoft Teams. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is that uh, you need to be able to uh, view the hidden items. All right. In uh, in Windows Explorer. So make sure this is uh, this is checked. All right. And then we're going to be on our C drive. Make sure you're on your C drive. Uh, so we're going to go in Users. So that's the C drive Users. Choose your username that you have. All right, you're gonna go in App Data right here. App Data. Click on that. We're gonna go into Roaming. After that, we're gonna go into Microsoft. You see, we've got Microsoft Teams. Don't choose that. Choose Microsoft. Then you're gonna go into Teams. Then you're going to Backgrounds, and then you're gonna go into Uploads. And I already have the image here, right? So, but uh, what you would do here? Uh, that, let me delete that so I can show you the other <laughs> how not to do it. So I'm going to go back into Teams. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back in, show background effects. You see, I don't have that image with the autumn leaves, all right? So now let's go back, and I'm going to go dump it into that C, user, your username, app data, roaming, Microsoft Teams, background uploads. Right click, dump the file, park wallpaper, nice, you know, uh, autumn leaves. All right, go back into here. You see, I don't have it here. I don't have the autumn leaves here, right? I don't have that. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna close this. So force a refresh, all right? Show background effects. And then here it is, it refreshes everything that's in, are in the folders. And now I've got my, my autumn leaves applied effect and now I've got the autumn leaves, all right? Uh, once, uh, once again, like I say, if you're with friends using Teams, it's not really for friends. You're gonna use more Zoom or Skype or whatever it is like. Uh, Instagram or whatever uh, has got the video conferences that, that they, these guys use. Uh, if you use that in a business environment, like I said, one of the thing is, is that I'm just going to go back to a couple of comments uh, about this. First of all, uh, when you have a video conference call for business purpose, what I recommend uh, is to always dress the same way you would dress at the office. If you dress casually, dress casually. If you usually wear a tie and a jacket, wear a tie and a jacket. So just dress the same way you would dress at the office. That's the first thing. Uh, if you're in a video conference call, same thing here. Uh, if you're not talking, just mute your uh, your uh, your microphone. La 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 la. Uh, mute your microphone. Uh, now I'm using OBS, so maybe it didn't mute. But mute your microphone when you're in a conference call. 
Uh, also, uh, for mental health, a lot of companies, and that where the company I work for, we do that also. Uh, since we've been for some of us two, three, four weeks already, I mean, I've been five weeks home. Uh, I mean, I usually travel internationally, and that's been closing our company for many weeks. Uh, so, uh, for a lot of people that are at home, uh, it's just good to see other people. Uh, so, uh, most of the time, try to have your camera on. So, that's why it's good to have the, the background blurring. Uh, have that. Have a soft background, like I say, for business purpose. I would not put the autumn leaves here. Uh, I would really put something that is soft, uh, that is not distracting uh, for the presenter. Uh, this is perfect. So, it, it, it hides your the clutter behind you. And uh, basically, it doesn't distract anybody. And uh, so, this is uh, some of the tips that I have. And um, hey, there you go. Uh, so um, this is uh, the Microsoft Teams, a couple of tips that I have, how to blur the background, how to find it where it is, how to add some images. And if you don't have the menu there to be able to blur, uh, what could be the causes. And uh, so remember to always try to force the update. You know, if you know your computer is more recent after the Haswell, uh, on the Intel side with Haswell chips, after that, they have the AVX2, or if you see, that you, you know you go to Intel Arc, you've got the AVX2, but you still don't do it. Just keep forcing the uh, the update on the uh, on the in the settings of the software that that might help as well. And also, if you've got like also kind of a modern uh, webcam and all of that, Logitech C920 or above, uh, or, or I don't know you know other brands. Uh, but if you have also a fairly modern camera, uh, some software as well can do that to be able to change the background. You have a Personify Chroma Cam uh, that does that. I have that. It's, it's a subscription, so I have that since uh, for many years. Uh, so a Personify uh, Chroma Cam program works very well. And there's also uh, XSplit that has the VCAM software. There's it's a paid license uh, also, uh, so it's not free. Uh, so, but before you go spend some money, what I recommend is see if they have some free demos and try it first. Uh, before because sometimes you see there's a lot of distortion in the image and you might not like it so before you pay uh, try to get the demo and see if you like it and if it's going to work into teams all right so this is my roundup of uh, tips for Microsoft Teams so I hope that I've helped some users and uh, you know uh, stay safe uh, you know enjoy the video conference that you have with your colleagues uh, you know talk try to talk not only about work but something else in between when you're in the lobby and that's always uh, good and helpful so I uh, hope I've uh, helped some individual with this video. Thanks for watching. See you at the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.